guys, this time I'm reviewing Loki from 2004. This is a miniseries of four comics that tell the story of what happens if Loki ha if Loki could succeed in conquering Asgard. So the art and writing in these comics are by Rob Brody and Isad Ribic. And yeah. So Loki has conquered Asgard in these comics. We don't know exactly how he does it, but it's not important. What's important is that Loki is now in charge of Asgard, and now he has to deal with the ramifications of that. So the great trickster has finally won his greatest desire. He's in charge of Asgard, he has Odin and Thor in captivity, and now he needs to decide what his next steps are. And very quickly, Loki learns that ruling is not everything he thought it would be. All of a sudden, he needs to learn to deal with very real things about the running of Asgard. One of the most important is how he's going to secure the Bifrost, because he conquered Heimdall and put him in captivity, and now there's nobody guarding the Bifrost, so there's nobody as their line of defense to secure Asgard to stop other people from the other realms coming in and conquering Asgard, just as Loki had done it, because the country's kind of in confusion. There's also just a lot of minor details, and Loki is just kind of like exhausted. He's like, Look guys, I just, just went through this really epic battle and I'm kind of exhausted and tired and like, I can't think right now. And then he also has all these people who helped him, like Lorelai, and we have the Queen of the Norns, who are coming to Loki and demanding their payment. The things he promised them in order that they would help him, he, he now needs to deliver and Loki's kind of struggling with this because there are people who want part of his, like, there are people who now want part of his, like, domain, or the Queen of the Norns wants Baldur, who he has in captivity released, and Loki's like, well, I don't really want to do those, like, yeah. So Loki's kind of having to figure out who he is now that he's no longer the trickster god. Like, you're ruling a country, you really can't just go around tricking everybody all the time, it doesn't make for stable country like it's not a good kingdom it's not sound ruling advice um so it is not what loki thought it was going to be and we also have hella who is the queen of death who like has dominion over hell and all the souls who have departed from living and she has come to loki to demand thor's soul like this is one of those things that she has always wanted and now it is, like, within her grasp. Like, Loki has always promising that he's gonna kill Thor. And now Hela has come to, like, put the pressure on him. And, like, dude. You're always saying you're gonna do it. Now just do it. And Thor, or, and Loki is really struggling with this. Because he's trying to come to terms with who he is without Thor. Like, so much of his life is defined by being in opposition to Thor. And without having Thor to battle, and without his constant desire to take over Asgard, Loki's in this major, like, trying to figure out who he is. He's in this dilemma, this struggle of, who is he now? These major characteristics that once defined him aren't there anymore. And so, Loki also doesn't really want to kill Thor. He was finding out very fast that he just wanted Thor to be humiliated, the way that Thor is constantly humiliating him, and now he succeeded in doing that. And now he just wants his brother back. And he's having all these flashbacks and all these memories and all these times that he and Thor weren't at odds, and they really were brothers and comrades. And Thor or Loki is really finding that's kind of what he wants now, is he just wants to be friends with Thor. Um and how that all plays out is just tragic. So I am a huge Loki fan, so Loki having his own comics is like amazing and I was super excited and I was like, yes, Loki won, all right. He's in charge of Asgard, what's Loki gonna do? And then just being heartbroken by this like struggle in Loki that he is like not happy and he's still trying to figure out what it is he wants in life and having this identity crisis. And so as somebody who, <laughs> loves Loki, getting to see him win, but not really win, it's kind of not my favorite. It is really well done, and it's a great look into who Loki is and exploring Loki's character, 
but I'm also kind of glad that it's only four issues and that it isn't this long series. Like, I wouldn't want to read 20 issues of Loki moping and being sad and trying to struggle with who he is. The art in this comic is very muted. It has, like, these duller colors. They aren't as vibrant. The characters are all drawn. They looked a lot older than we normally see them. They're a lot more worn out. Um, That we see Thor being completely destroyed and like Odin in captivity and locked up and all the heroes have now met now met their downfall. So it's a lot kind of more serious comic. This isn't Logi the trickster who's out there having a lot of fun. Um, this is not a com this is not like a comedic story. This is definitely more of a tragedy. But it is definitely an interesting look at these characters and exploring who they are, who especially who Loki is. So I would recommend it, but I wasn't majorly in love with it. I this is not a comic I'm going to be rereading over and over and over again. So yeah, peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.